I'm at the reopen NC rally. I'll make this video longer so you can see how many people are here. There's so many people here, folks. There's so many people. I can, you can. I don't know if you can barely hear me, but uh, people are fed up with this shutdown. People want to go back to work. People want to defend our First Amendment rights that no governor or any Democrats or anyone in the, in the world can take away from us. So that's why we're going to fight back. And this is Raleigh, North Carolina. We're, we're fighting for our rights. We're not going to give in to whatever the demands of the, the government or the medical system. We don't care. We, we have our rights and there's not even many. The people, with all the deaths, the numbers of deaths are hyperinflated. The, everything's being hyped up so that we don't... Everything's being hyped up to try to make us afraid so that we give up all of our rights. We don't want to be afraid because that's how they... That's how they're going to take away our rights is by making us afraid of everything. And then we, then we become China. We don't want to become China where all our rights are taken away whenever the government says so. We don't live like that. This is all the people here. I mean, look at all these people. There's so many people here. It's, I can't even see all the people here. There's so many of them. So, we're gonna, this is my wife right here. Open NC, that's right. There was a congressman here earlier saying that look, the First Amendment isn't under shutdown. We don't give away our rights. We're, we have the right to go out. We have. There's even. It's even hard to find a bathroom because people are so afraid to open up. It's, it's ridiculous. We. It's just. We need it. We can, we're basically being put into our. our <laughs> I mean, are we just gonna let whatever CNN tells us what to do? I know we're, we're just gonna let the mainstream media tell us what to do. There's more people dying from the flu. There's there's that's viruses all the time. Over there. Oh, that's that's the mansion over there for Governor Cooper. That's the that's the mansion right there in the corner right there of Governor Cooper. That's why we're here protesting it. Everybody else is suffering except for him. <laughs> I'm getting comments. Oh, it's the dumbest thing ever. No, it's not the dumbest thing ever when we're having our rights taken. I mean, do you, or do you want to give up their rights to the government whenever they say so? No one's dying on the streets from the virus. It's completely overhyped and fake. It's totally fake. No one's dying. The hospitals are near empty. And then we're supposed to give up our rights? This never happened before in the history of America that we just give up our rights over a little virus that hasn't even been proven to cause disease. There's not even a scientific evidence that the coronavirus is killing people. They're just labeling people as dying from COVID-19 with no proof. They can assume it. They can just assume that it's COVID-19. So it's hyperinflated, hyperinflated deaths, completely ridiculous. And thousands of people are fed up with it. Fed up with it. Are we supposed to live in hazmat suits for the rest of our lives just because CNN tells us so? No, we're not going to live there. Reopen NC. Thousands of people. You know, you know, Facebook, you know, Facebook and um, Mark, look at that. Mark Zuckerberg is telling us we can't do this. Facebook is telling us we can't do this. We're not allowed to go out and use our First Amendment rights to protest and to get our rights back. We're not even we're not even allowed to do this according to Facebook. I'm 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 telling Mark Zuckerberg right now, screw you, I have all my rights, you can kiss my ass. I'm not gonna give in to any demands by any tyrannical government whatsoever. They're trying to tell us all that we don't have any rights. We're all supposed to stay home, take their vaccines, take their medicines, whatever they tell us to do. Oh there it is, there it is. Hey! 
Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're what he's saying is right. We can't. We didn't fight for just to just to save ourselves. It's, freedom is the safety. We're not gonna. We're not gonna let um, the government say, "Oh, we can. We should. We can take all your rights away in the name of safety." Well, they'll do that all the time. That's how the tyr That's how tyranny happens. That's how communism happens. We give up our rights over safety for any or any other reason at all. We're not gonna give up our rights just because uh, to go out. We're not gonna give up our First Amendment just because. We're, be we're being we're under house arrest. We're being told we're not even sick. We're not even sick. We have to go out. We can't even go out. Small businesses are shutting down. Millions of people are out of out of work. I'm not, you know. Just I'm lucky that I'm still at work right now. I'm lucky that I have a job, but most people don't. Most people don't have work. Most people are living paycheck to paycheck. They're trying to make us dependent on the government so that we depend on the stimulus checks to survive. We become a socialist state dependent on the government. We're not going to live like that. I'm not going to live a slave to the state. I'm not going to be a sheep to the state. There's people singing. This is why all these people are out here. Look at all these people. Reopen NC. Everyone's affected by it. And it, you know, if, if we let the government shut us down, right? Well, how long are they going to do it for? They can do it for however long they feel like it, because they're they're trying to act like they have control over what's essential, what is tell us when we're supposed to be open. And uh, you know, it's important that we do this, that we take part of this, take part in this movement, because I don't want to, you know, tell my grandchildren, my children in the future that I did stand. The media, the mainstream media, I'm sure. Mainstream media is gonna say, "Oh, no one's out here fighting back." Mainstream media is gonna say that. Yeah, stop propaganda. Everyone's gonna say, "Oh, no one's out here." There's hundreds, of, hundreds of people out here. Everyone's fighting back. Facebook wants us to stop fighting back. Mark Zuckerberg says we shouldn't be doing this. This is our rights. It's important that we do this, and we're gonna keep doing this. People, are, there's gonna be even more and more people the more this continues. Made in America for a safe America. There, there is. People are forgetting. If you lose your rights, there is no safety. There is no safety when you lose your rights. Again, we got stuck because the police stopped us. We have to get rid of Governor Cooper. He thinks he's above us. He thinks he's above our rights, our First Amendment. He wants to shut everything down for however long he wants. I'm not going to let Governor, some rant, some governor or any politician, tell me when I and when I can go outside of my house. I can go outside of my house whenever I want to. I can walk around however I want to. I can hug my family. I can I can make handshakes if I want to. Now they want us to control. They want to control us to the maximum extent to where we can't even ha we can't even be next to people. We get fined if we get too close to people. You know they want this protest to not happen, and they're trying to find they're trying to find ways for us not to be out here. Trying to say, oh, we're, we're so close to people. Yeah, we have the First Amendment. We have the First Amendment. That is, hasn't disappeared. We're not, other, we're not a slave state like China. We actually can go out and do whatever we want. 
You don't give up your rights whenever there's a crisis. The whole point of having rights is so that we don't give up our, so that we have rights during a crisis. They're having us under house arrest. We can't work. We, can't, we don't have rights. Which they're trying to take away our rights. We have to, because you know, if we let this happen, you know what's gonna, you know what's gonna happen. You, you know what happens if we give up our rights? That means that our children and the next generation is gonna have less rights. They're gonna be totally obedient slaves to the state. That's what they, that's what the, that's what the government wants. If they continue to tell us what to do, that's what the CDC and the World Health Organization wants. They want to tell people to be afraid so that you give up all your rights and you're told what to do. You can't even, you can't even go out to eat, basically. Restaurants are closing down. They tell us what is essential and what isn't. That's completely illegal. The shutdown is illegal. You're not, they're not supposed to be able to do this. That's why we're fighting back. All these people, look at that. Tons of people. You know, this this rally is huge. This rally is huge. The, I'm sure the mainstream media is gonna say, oh, there, no one showed up, it was like two people. No, there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people here. And, and like, you know, if people are criticizing, oh, COVID-19, oh, COVID-19's uh, the worst thing in the world. No, it's not. There's no one dying on the streets from COVID-19. The, the hospitals are basically empty. Uh, there's not even, and we're supposed to give up our rights over, over that? Over every little virus that comes out, we lose our rights? Heck no. Stay home. Stay home too. Stay home too. Stay home too. Stay home too. Stay There's not even there's not even scientific evidence that COVID-19 exists or coronavirus is causing a disease. There's not they haven't even done e experiments to prove that. USA! Right? USA! It's, it's, USA! I'm not going to just trust whatever the mainstream media tells me. USA! Mainstream media lies to me all the time. USA! USA! And we're supposed to give up our rights when the mainstream media says so. Whenever CNN tells us to, then we're allowed to go back to work. We're their slaves. We, we're, allowed to, we're allowed to open up whenever Mark Zuckerberg tells us to. Oh, really? So we're slaves to Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah, we're so delusional that we want our First Amendment rights. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, no, you're delusional if you think that it, it's okay to give up your First Amendment and sit at home while millions of people lose their jobs. While, while all of us are we're, we're slaves to whatever the CDC says. Complete scam. Since when do are we just slaves to the medical system that tells us what to do? Since when? Since when is that the case? All of a sudden? All of a sudden now we're supposed to do that? Heck no! Heck no! Funny thing is, people that want the shutdown to continue, right? You're still at risk of getting this so-called virus. So why do you want to just give up your rights and be at risk instead of having your rights? It's better to it's better to live in a free state and take a risk than to live in a slave state and still be at risk. Because in a slave state, you can't even protest. In a slave state, you can't even do what we're doing right now. You see, this is called the First Amendment. You can't even do that in China. You can't do this in China. They will, they will, they will arrest you, send you to a concentration camp. Because that's the, what happens when you give up your rights. That's what, you see this? We're doing this because we're not slaves. We're doing this because we're not sheep. We're not told what to do. Yeah, you want to live in, if you think, if you want to be a slave to the state, just go to China. You can't even do this. You're not allowed to go out and do this. All the, all the founding. Yeah, the death toll is manipulated. Just look up the CDC guidelines. The CDC guidelines say that people can, they can assume that someone died of COVID-19 with no proof, with zero proof. 
they can just assume that you died just because you had the symptoms, the flu-like symptoms. Yeah, flu, there's a lot of things that cause the flu-like symptoms. We're just gonna lose our rights over something that has flu-like symptoms? What, where's the cure for the heart disease? Where's the cure for cancer? Where? Why don't we find out where that's coming from? Why are we not shutting down over cancer and heart disease? Why is that? Why are we not shutting down for every other disease in the world? It's because we're not pussies. We don't live pussies. We're not afraid of diseases. We're to get rid of our rights over diseases. It's called the First Amendment. The hospitals are, are, are not even filled up. Yeah, there's a lot of viruses that spread, Lauren. There's a lot of viruses that spread. Why don't you find the cure for that and then we'll have our First Amendment back. Yeah, right. Like as if I'm gonna wait for someone to find a cure. My cure is the immune system. You, call, you ever heard of the immune system? That's what I have, that's the cure. And that's why I have the First Amendment because I don't rely on someone else to tell me when I'm, when I'm cured. I don't rely on someone else to tell me when I have my rights. You know, you know that abortion clinics are all open, right? Killing babies, right? They're all killing babies. Oh, but but no, no. All the small businesses, everyone else has to close. Restaurants have to close. Oh, but Walmart and Target and, and abortion clinics get to stay open. Really? Yeah, they can kill babies all, all the time, right? Abortion clinics can kill their babies. But everyone else has to close down. And churches have to close down. Some people can, you can get tested for COVID and you can die from other diseases too. And they say, they say that they died from COVID-19. Well, is there proof that they didn't die from all the other diseases they had? Because that's what most, you know, Italy said 99% of the deaths in Italy, the people that so-called tested positive for COVID-19, they died from three or four other diseases. Most of the people dying have other diseases. And like I said, you know, I'm not going to just give up my rights whenever, whenever the government says so. Just because you say that this virus is scary, that means I have to give up my rights? Heck no. Heck no. You can, you can stay at home if you want to. You, you, you don't want to have your rights to go out and work? You don't want to have those rights? Fine. Go stay at home. Go stay at home. Stay at home. Let, let everyone else work. You can stay at home if you're scared. You, no one's telling you you have to go out. That's what rights are all about. You can choose to, you, if you want to isolate yourself because you're so dang scared of this little virus, then, uh, then go ahead, stay at home. Don't, don't take everyone else's rights away. You know, cancer, you know, cancer has many different causes. People need to find out what's causing these, these things. What if it is something that's spreading? What if it is 5G towers? What if radiation it can cause a lot of disease. It's even proven in studies that radiation can create tumors and cancers. Why isn't there a big protest over that? Why, why is everyone so focused on this little virus when there's so many other things that are causing deaths? And then we're supposed to, uh, we're supposed to trust the medical system? Oh, the doctors, really? Yeah, you know, one of the leading causes of death is mal medical malpractice, pharmaceutical pills that the medical system tells us to take. And we're supposed to just give up our rights, apparently. We're just supposed to give up our rights. There's a reopen NC rally right here. Reopen NC rally. Hundreds of people. There's a lot of people here. I'm just, you just can't see everyone because they're all in these all different streets all around here in Raleigh fighting for our rights because we're not going to just do whatever the government tells us to do. Oh, we're supposed to just stay home and just give up our First Amendment? We can't go to church? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we just give up our rights. No, the founding fathers and all the people, all the veterans in the world that fought in every war fought for us to have rights, and now we just give it away in a couple weeks because the CDC says so? Oh, really? Really? We just give up our rights whenever the CDC and the World Health Organization says so. Yeah, well, they're, you know, their World Health Organization is funded by Bill Gates. He has an incentive to make people scared of this so he can inject us all with vaccines. Make tons of money off that. You ever think about that? There's a motive to make this a big deal, to overhype it so they can get everyone so scared that they, everyone needs to take these vaccines they make trillions of dollars off of. 
The medical system is a tyranny that wants to control you with fear. That's what the medical system is, in most cases. You know, they don't even, they don't even tell people how to prevent diseases. They just treat diseases with pills and stuff. They don't talk about how diseases are caused. They don't, they don't tell you about good nutrition. You know, if Bill Gates is really cares about us, right? If Bill Gates and all these World Health Organization really cares about us, why aren't they talking about good nutrition, good food, how to be, how to have a strong immune system? No, they don't talk about that. They, they make fun of people saying that there's medicines that cure it. They, they say it's only a vaccine. Reopen and see rally. Reopen and see rally. I'm not gonna just sit around and be told what to do all day, every day, by the government. When it, and how long are they gonna keep it closed for? They're they're gonna keep it closed for however the heck they want to, however long the heck they want to. And what are we supposed to do? Just sit here and wait for them to tell us when we can go out? Heck no. We have the First Amendment. You know what the First Amendment is, right? You, you have the right to peaceable assembly. You have the right to freedom of religion. You have the right to go out. You have the right to speak up and protest. Just like this. You know, a lot of countries don't are even, not even allowed to do this. Mark Zuckerberg says we're not allowed to do this. Mark Zuckerberg says, oh, anybody that's promoting these reopen rallies, they have to get shut down. Ban them. Censor them. Cooper's got to go. That's, that's his house right there. That's his house right there. Freedom is more important than anything else. Because if you always, if you're in fear, if you want, if you live in fear, then they can take away all your rights because you're so afraid that you're gonna, you're gonna let them take all your rights. That's why we live it with freedom, not fear. We don't let fear dictate what we do. That's what we're doing out here, protesting. USA. Governor, <laughs> Governor Cooper has got to go. Governors aren't kings. That's right. Go governors, are, governors aren't rulers. Governors aren't dictators that tell us when we can and go can go out when we're allowed to open businesses. They're not dictators. This is America. We don't just let the government tell us what to do and tell us when we lose our rights. When are, how long are they going to keep it closed? However, the long the heck they want to take it. They can keep us closed forever if, they, if no one stands up. Because they can say this virus just keeps coming back, guys. We have to lose our rights forever, guys. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! Look at that. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! When do we want it? Now! Open and see, Governor! Open and see. Open and see. Look at this. Look at all these people. Look at that. Open and sing. Open and sing. Open and sing. Open and sing. We have to fight to keep our rights. Open and sing. Open and sing. Open and sing. Open and sing. Reopen and see. That's what I'm doing out here. Open and see. 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 Yeah, if we don't if we don't fight for our rights, they're gonna take all of them. If everyone's too afraid to stand up, we're, they're gonna take all of our rights. And then they're gonna tell us when they can when we can go out. The World Health Organization says they wanna they need to find people in their houses if they're if they're not obeying social distancing, then they have to come into our houses. You know, I'm not gonna let the tyranny tell me what to do. 
I'm not going to let tyranny, tyranny and governors oh, and acting like they could take away our rights for whatever reason. Freedom, freedom and rights are not a condition and not conditional. You don't just get rights whenever it's safe to have rights. You have rights at any point in time, no matter what is going on and during any crisis. You don't let the government or the CDC or the World Health Organization tell you when you can go out because that's the First Amendment in the Bill of Rights, guaranteed. So, and that's given by God. That's not even, that's not something, it's not a privilege for us to go out and have the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. That's not a, uh, a, a privilege we get from the government. That is a God-given right. And if we let them, if we let the government take the role of, oh, this is when you're allowed to have the First Amendment, well, guess what? You're going to lose that right because that's what happens. What about, what about all the veterans that have fought and died to have, for us to have our rights? Is it, is it disrespect that when, when they take away our rights? Now we got now we got a police. Now we got police stopping us on the street. Reopen NC. Reopen NC. Reopen NC. Reopen NC. Reopen NC. making laps so we can get the point across to the governor that's literally right there the North Carolina governor is literally right there across the bushes in his house all right and that's why we're out here so we can send him a message that he can't just take our rights away whenever he feels like it for any reason at all it doesn't matter because you know as soon as we give up our rights in the name of safety and the government can always do that at any point in time for any made-up reason that they can come up with. Because that's why, that's, so, that's why it's so important to have our rights. And that's why I'm out here, because it's that important. It's that important. Because otherwise, how long are we going to be in this depression-like state with people losing their jobs? And they can't, you know, how long are we going to live like this? Because sooner or later, that's going to be a health problem when people don't have money to eat food, good food, everyone has, is starving, everyone's dependent on the government. Like why would why are we gonna live like that, living living in a slave state where we we we're given we have to be handed everything by the government? Oh, here's your stimulus check so you can survive. Oh, the small businesses, yeah, you don't you don't get to stay open. You have to get a loan from us to survive. It's all about depending on the government. That's what they're trying to create with this bullcrap quarantine scam. There's not people dying on the streets. There are not people dying on the streets. Everyone's out here healthy, needing to work, fighting for our rights. Hospitals are near empty. It's just, it's, it's a total overhyped scam. And I've been saying this so many times, but the CDC, the CDC came up with guidelines that says, oh, if someone dies and they assume that they died from COVID-19, they can just say it's a COVID-19 death with zero proof. That's in the CDC guidelines. So, of course, there's going to be tons of people dying that they say is COVID-19, even when they have no proof. And then that's why we're supposed to be scared. We're supposed to take Bill Gates' vaccines. We're supposed to obey our, our rights being taken away just because it's so scary. Yeah, right. We're not going to, we're not going to let fear dictate when we have our rights. We don't let the government say, oh, yeah, you, there's a virus. There's a virus killing a bunch of people. Yeah. No, there's not, there have been so many, there's so many cases of people dying with multiple diseases, but they just happen to have COVID-19, so it's COVID-19's fault, so then they inflate the numbers like that. There's not even scientific evidence that COVID-19 is causing diseases. They haven't even done the scientific proof to prove that. 
but we're supposed to accept whatever mainstream media says. We have to stay at home, give up our First Amendment, can't go to church, but abortion clinics stay open killing babies. Um, you know, everything is... And then apparently that's that's how we lose our rights, right? Because if we let our rights get taken whenever the government has a reason to, right, for in the name of safety, then we're going to turn into China. That's what's going to happen. We're going to turn into China, slave state. You can't even go out and protest if you want to. You can't do that. Woo! So. We my, want our rights back! We want our rights back! We want our rights back! We want our rights back! Woo! Wow. What an experience. Open North Carolina! Cooper's got to go! Woo! <laughs> Awesome. This is awesome. I just love this. We don't get told what to do when our, t our rights get taken away. We don't get told what to do. No microchips. No vaccines. No vaccines. Yeah, no vaccines. No vaccines. See, no vaccines. See, people are protesting vaccines out here. No vaccines. No vaccines. No vaccines. Because that's how they're they're scaring us all. Oh, this horrible thing, the virus just hasn't even been proven. Oh, we're supposed to be so scared that we have to take Bill Gates' vaccines. Yeah, yeah, right. They make trillions of dollars off that. Trillions of dollars off that. Scaring everyone into taking vaccines. No vaccines! No vaccines! No vaccines! No vaccines! Woo! No vaccines! No mandatory vaccines! We want choice! No testing, no vaccines, unless you want to. <laughs> I think they're just getting tired. <laughs> Woo! Cooper is a joke. Yes, he is. <laughs> so many people. Because everyone's fed up with this. Everyone's job is affected. Even if you have a job, you're affected. Yeah, people have died for this, died for our rights, died for the First Amendment, but we're supposed to just give it up whenever the government says so, apparently. Whenever CNN tells us to, we're supposed to give up our rights. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Heck no. Heck no. Cooper's got to go! Cooper's got to go! Reopen NC. That's why I'm here. Reopen NC. We're not gonna just tell, do whatever we're told. Cooper's got to go. Cooper's got to go. I can't even, you know. When I'm on my way here. When I was on my way here to the rally, I had to go to the, take a leak. I had to go piss. And there's so. There, were, there was a time when no one had any bathrooms open. I was like, this is ridiculous. This is what it's like to live in a dang slave state. You can't even go to the bathroom because everything's closed. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous.